everyone in the construction business. A few people got the new building code. You got to be aware of this stuff, folks. You have to have a license to work on people's houses. Understand this. They want these guys to go to contractor school. Those two words don't even go together, do they, folks? <laughs> what in the hell are you learning contractor school? How to hold your breath in a porta potty? Give me a break over here. I'm sure it's an important class. You know what I'm talking about? Any idea what's worse than a porta potty, folks? It's Florida. Not Florida, I'm talking about in Florida, the hot porta potty. <laughs> yes, that's the nastiest piece of Tupperware on earth. <laughs> it needs to be burped like every 30 minutes. <laughs> I got you there. That's it, man, the porta potty, man. No sink in there, right? Some people think that's a sink, but don't touch it. I swear to God, it's not a sink. That's the hardest piece of soap I've ever handled. Do you watch Home and Garden TV, folks? Yes. Sir, come on, you get involved in this, don't you? You've glanced through these TV shows. That's how I learned construction, the old-fashioned way, television. Bob Vila. <laughs> you know Bob's not a contractor, right? The man's got tassels on his work boots. <laughs> you can't believe these shows. Home Time. Have you seen Home Time, the couple that builds together? <laughs> and never argues. It's some type of construction fantasy, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Honey, help me hang this sheet of drywall, then we'll have a muffin. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. And you need your wife because you can't find anyone to come to the house and do work, can you find? Folks, can you find anybody today? They're too busy, it's too much work. We can't even find people to work. You can't drug test. <laughs> You'll lose the whole crew. <laughs> the only way a guy's gonna pass a drug test on a construction site is if you grade him on a curve. Hey, you're in the 60th percentile, all right. <laughs> Get back on the crane, we need you today. <laughs> you don't have to drug test to know if someone's been doing something. We had a painter show up with no tools. I'm like, where's your roller? He goes, you mean Joey? He's on workers' comp today. <laughs> and you talk about a scam, workers' compensation insurance, folks. The lawyers... The lawyers are clapping. That's who's making the money. Lawyers make a lot of money off of workers' comp. Lawyers make a lot of money in general. You see it. They own every billboard on the freeway, the back of every phone book in this country. Pretty soon, they're gonna have their own NASCAR. <laughs> It'll be black and blue. No name, just a question. Injured. It'd 
be the only car that stops when another car crashes. You know what I'm talking about here? <laughs> Tough to find people that work in construction. Some of these guys that you look at now, just the application process, you're looking at them, you don't ask them the usual questions. You just get down to, you ever kill anybody? <laughs> Guys like residential or commercial. <laughs> you can't be afraid of the prison worker. You just have to view them differently. Think of them as once living in a gated community. <laughs> There's no new young blood coming into construction. Your kids are not going into construction, are they? No, man, the 13 year old boys out there, they don't want to work there. Yeah. They're wearing their pants way down to here. You can see their underwear. People are all crazy about this. I mean, what's the big deal? Contractor's been doing that for years. <laughs> we came up with that. <laughs> you got to teach your kids values. Isn't that right, folks? Yeah, yeah that's what George Bush the first said. But I think they understand values. I don't know if you can teach them. They understand that a Tommy Hilfiger pole costs 80 bucks. And if you buy that for them, that's a good value. <laughs> a pair of Air Jordans, $200. Nice, good value. A quickie in the back of Dad's Beamer, priceless. 